All right, you guys, we are all set for round two of the Booster Box Showdown. But before we do that again, guys, please do me the big favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. You guys know the drill. Let's get right into it. So round one did not go Yu-Gi-Oh's way. We did pull a very good pull. We got the Wanted, uh, which was a really good pull to get because that was a pretty expensive card. But I'm not sweating it too much with Yu-Gi-Oh. This is kind of what I expect from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh usually always comes out of the gate a little slow. But I think here in round two, three, and four, they'll start picking it up. Oop, there goes one card right out of the pack. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get some first pack magic right off the bat here. Nope, no first pack magic. So I want you guys to just do me a big favor. Comment down below if you guys want to see a full case break of this set. I do have a full case. <clears throat> so if you guys want to see a full case, just like I said, just comment down below or just smash that like button for me. Embrace, not what we're looking for. And I do think this is a very good uh, measurement is to go up against Digimon because Digimon is just a really good uh, product when it comes to value. But I do think every time I pin Yu-Gi-Oh versus... Ooh, there we go. We got Tainted of the Testina. I think every time I pin Yu-Gi-Oh up against Digimon, it just always does really good with seeing like where that value scale kind of lies. And that's really what I'm trying to like show everybody. Because also, too, I see a lot of people just opening up product left and right, and it always looks good, and they always put a lot of numbers, and sometimes they'll put the PSA card, too, and prices of everything, and I just kind of have a little bit of a problem with just people just showing off that kind of stuff and just showing. So I like to kind of do an actual showdown to show you guys, hey, listen, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a great product. It is. It's a, good, it's a great product. Card game? Even better. You know? It's been around the block. TJ Mighty. But when you pin it up against another product, you get to actually see just how good these booster boxes and how good the value really is. And I used to always do a case versus case breakdown, but that was getting a little pricey. But I do purchase cases. Ooh, V sets. I'm staring. Not the best pull, but still a good one. So there's our first secret. I am going to be very curious to see, too, like just how many quarter of the century cards can we pull. So really hoping we can get one here in this box. I really do love doing this booster box showdown. Just love, first of all, it's just fun to just open up a bunch of cardboard, opening up a bunch of booster boxes and the cards and the prices and seeing how everything kind of plays out. But it's another thing, like I said, because I'm a big numbers, big analytic type of guy. I like seeing how it all plays out. And round one, like I said, we started off really good with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Got that very big, nice, Superstar Slayer. Got that really good pull, and I really thought that box was going to be in for a very good... Alright, let's get into another pack here. So far, this booster box, eh, it ain't looking too good. We'll see. Really curious to see if we can pull a... Quarter of the century rare, that would really save this booster box right about now because so far it ain't looking too good. Looking like a bunch of duds. Here we go. Still working on the right side at least. But I will say there's one secret rare in this box. And I think it's the... Something Flight, I always forget the name of this one, but I mean, it's like a hundred dollar secret rare. And even that wanted one was also about, like I said, fifty plus dollar hard right there. So, you know, you pull one of those, you pretty much get your money's worth. It's just how did the other ultra rares? And can we pull a quarter of the century? And if we do pull a quarter of the century, which one do we end up pulling? All questions that I enjoy in looking at when you're doing the booster box showdown, because that's what you kind of get. You know, a lot of questions you have when you buy a product of something you know how are the pull rates are the pull rates good are the cards valuable are the you know the cards that you get every single booster box are those cards worth anything like the regular generic super rares is there money to be made here like from a, from a, 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 a just a player standpoint are these cards meta to you does that matter and i think like i said Yu Gi Oh has done better ah king's sarcophagus 
they've done a lot better in the pack. They definitely have up their pull rates for sure to get some of the better cards that, you know, most of us want. Both collectors and players are kind of chasing of chasing for. But it does seem like so far we're two boxes in and like I said, this is what first box pretty good. This one is not shaping out to be any any good at all. So we'll see. One card can change it all. And you guys already see what Digimon is capable of here. And I, you know, they got a super rare in every set, but for the most part, it's those new super rares, it's the secret rares, and the fact that Digimon always does a really good job doing guaranteed stuff. Ah, there we go, our second wanted seeker of sinful spoil. So back-to-back -back boxes, and we get the wanted card. So excellent there. That actually, you know, makes me feel a little bit better because wasn't shaping up to be the best box, and then there we go. That pretty much will at least guarantee that Yu-Gi-Oh will not be losing double digits. Which is kind of what you need for <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, that's a really nice looking card. Wow. That's a wicked looking card, actually. Can we get that in Secret Rare? Can we get that in the quarter of a century? Man, I would love to get something like that graded. Because Digimon has always done a very good job of making sure that every box comes loaded with guaranteed stuff. And in this box, this set, in particular with Digimon, uh, you're talking about a Super Rare in every set. So the pull rates are going to be off the charts. Whereas this set right here, even though a quarter of the century set, have been very good. Have been very, very good. Uh, we're still... We're still, you know, crossing our fingers and hoping for Dark Hole Dragon. Nice. Still hoping for some really good pull rates and just to pull like a handful of some of those top dollar cards. Let's see what we get here. And you can still... We can still pull it out. You never know. And we got a couple of packs, two packs, you know. There could be a quarter of the century rare right here. The secret rare thing does not make a difference. You're still going to get your guaranteed secret rares and ultra rares. Which point? All right, down to the final pack, and then we'll move on to the numbers and see how well this booster box really did. But pulling that wanted card, and that's what I'm talking about right there. So back-to-back -back boxes getting that, that's good pull rate. And there we go. So no quarter of the century here. But we did get another Wanted Seeker. Now let's go ahead and get to the end of this video and see how well we really did. This was an excellent response from Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a really good box, guys. So breakdown kind of goes like this. $65, of course, what we paid for. Total value pulled here, $94.20 for a good profit of $29.20. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh here in this round is kind of sitting in the driver's seat. And keep in mind, too, guys, we haven't pulled a little night. We haven't pulled a quarter of the century. We just pulled... Good value out of this box. Another Wanted card, which is great to see that. Back-to-back -back boxes from the Wanted. Like to see that. Things you like to see, of course. And then for the Ultra Rares, we actually pulled one or two of the very good top dollar Ultra Rares. Uh, the King Sarcophagus and stuff like that. That's the things you really like to see. That's kind of how you get this good value coming out of this. A $50 Secret Rare, uh, $11 to $12 on an Ultra Rare, and another $5 Ultra Rare. So things that you just love to see. Very good pull rate distribution so far from Age of Overlord. And we're only two boxes in, so I kind of like my odds here for Yu-Gi-Oh! to win this round. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening again. Please, just do me a big favor. Hit that like button. That's all I ask. And I will see you guys. Round two, part two, the Digimon response. Can they respond and can they steal this one from Yu-Gi-Oh! Or is Yu-Gi-Oh! going to tie it all up?